Hi, I'm Sean Newman from Newman Property Experts, and I'm looking for someone to run our Newman Property Experts office in Leamington Spa. So the guy who was running it before, Paul, did a fantastic job, um, but in, in his words, he's fallen out of love with the state agency and wants to move on to Pastors New. So I've obviously wishing him all the best for the future, but this is providing an opportunity for someone to come in and run this, this exciting business. So the, in this video, I just want to tell you about the type of person we're looking for, um, a little bit about the role, and obviously important part, what's the package like? So the person we're looking for, well, a state agency industry is going through massive change at the moment. So it's important that the new person to run that office is very open-minded and looking to learn and improve and, and uh, take on the new challenges in this industry. And so being open to new ideas and being able to implement new strategies is, is crucial. I'm also looking for someone who's proactive. Um, estate agency in the past, you know, people used to stick adverts on right move and just wait for the leads to come in, um, wait for people to walk into an office or wait for the phone to ring. So that doesn't work anymore. We need someone who's going to be proactive and go out there and help generate business and find the business. Now, the great thing is I have actually got lots of strategies, um, a success formula and systems and processes that will guarantee success. But it's important we have someone who's going to implement those things. Um, and I'm looking for a leader, someone who's going to lead by example, someone who's going to demonstrate what good looks like and not sit there and just sort of bark orders at people and, and uh, hope that everyone else will get the results. So they've got to lead from the front. And I'm looking also, look, also looking for someone who's entrepreneurial because I want them to run that business as if it's their own and really take a, a, an interest in, in how it's run. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be involved, but, you know, it really fundamentally is going to be run by the, uh, the person in the office. So I'm also looking for someone who's ambitious. I want to grow the office, grow the business and expand. So it's important that they're ambitious as well. Now, it doesn't matter if they haven't got all the skills that are required because there's a lot of things that I can teach. And, uh, you know, this, I have got this, as I said, sex, success formula and, and strategies, strategies that can be used. However, there's a number of things that I cannot teach. I cannot teach someone's personality. So they've got to be... Um, bubbly, positive, get on with everybody. I can't teach enthusiasm. I can't teach someone to be ambitious or proactive, or I can't teach someone to, to be determined or, or driven or hungry. So they're the qualities or characteristics that, that I'm looking for that I can't teach. Everything else we can teach and, and uh, give you the skills. So a little bit about the team. We've got a fantastic team in the office and they, they are um, very successful and, and they'd probably just need someone to help them with, I don't know, I'm just going to explain a little bit about the role, but I want someone who's going to go in there and, and provide them with the support, training, help, give them direction uh, and, and sort of oversee the running of the office. Um, but, and I guess also I want them to deliver the three things, three my three goals, and there's only three things I want. I want everyone in the office to be happy. I want everyone in the office to be earning good money. And I want all our clients to get great service. And, uh, and they're, the, they're the only three things I want. And I just need someone to make sure those three things are happening. And everyone's happy. Everyone's earning good money. And that's different to different people. And our clients get great service. Now, the good thing is those things are interrelated. So if our agents, our team are, are, are happy and earning good money, they're going to provide great service. And if they're providing great service and they're happy, they're going to earn good money. So they're all related and, and obviously we need to make sure all those three things are, are delivered. Um, so I just also want to say what it's not. It's not a corporate business. It's not going to be meetings for meetings sakes. It's not going to be your time. It's not going to be spent filling in reports, um, doing lots of one-to-ones um, and basically filling, filling in reports and being micromanaged. So this is where it's more of a, a well, obviously it's an independent business, but someone you're going to be running the business um, in a in a, a way where you're sort of leading and doing the fun part of the job, which is obviously putting houses on the market and selling them and being part of a, a team. So the important question that you know you probably want to know is what are what are the remuneration, what are the rewards for for, for working in the office? So 
there's two elements really. So as I said, we want people who are going to lead from the front and go and list houses and sell houses. So all our agents are paid on results and they get 40% of the fee. So if the fee is 3,500, 40% of that is from memory 1,400 pounds. Um, and obviously if the fee is higher or lower, that, that commission goes, goes up and down as well. So if the average fee was 3,000 pounds, 40% is 1,200. If the fee is higher, say it's 4,000 pounds, the fee is 1,600 pounds. So that's what you'd be getting, 1,600 pounds, if our fee is 4,000 pounds. Plus there's extra commission for conveyancing uh, and, co and uh, mortgages. So a, a typical mortgage case, you would earn 200 pounds. A typical conveyancing case would earn 140 pounds. So if the fee was 4,000 pounds, you'd earn 1,600 pounds for as 40%, another couple of hundred pounds for the mortgage lead, uh, another 200 pounds for say the uh, conveyancing. So it could be worth 2,000 pounds for listing and selling one house, getting the mortgage and the conveyancing. So there's a great potential earnings there. So that's one element and that's by doing the fun part of the job, listing houses and selling houses, and probably the most re rewarding part of the job. And then the other part of the role is looking after the team and looking after the office. So again, I met, you know, that's about uh, getting paid on results. So that's related to the profit. So if you're doing well and successful, we want you to share in that success and earn from that. And so there is a profit share. And when I mentioned earlier that it's all about um, running the business as if it's your own, there is the option for an equity stake in the business as well. So you, you really will have part ownership in the business. Uh, and that's an option that uh, we can either have it so there's, uh, you buy into that or we can have a, a, a method where there's no, no cost and we can use some of the profit share to buy into the, into the business. So that's a great opportunity for the right person. It's not suitable for everybody. Some people just want to be a manager in a corporate office and work nine to five thirty. Others that want to take the next step and perhaps maybe open their own estate agency business, but haven't got the the well. It's a quite high cost and it's quite high risk. So if you want to go into an established business, you're entrepreneurial, you're ambitious, you want to do well, you're you're uh, looking to for a challenge, but also looking for the rewards as well. Then give me a call. Um, any conversation would be completely confidential. Uh, feel free to call me on my mobile number, which is 07973 197 227. I'll repeat that, 07973 197 227. Um, my email address is sean, S-E-A-N, at newman, N-E-W-M-A-N, Dot uk dot com. So if, if you think you would be suitable, feel free to call me anytime or drop me a text. Or if you know anyone that you think would be suitable, uh, I think this is a fantastic opportunity. It doesn't come off uh, along very often. So don't sit on the fence, get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you and we can, I can answer any questions you may have. All right, thanks for listening and I look forward to hearing from you.